For our OSE Days cloud server, we use a free Libra open source software program called OwnCloud. OwnCloud allows us to share and sync files between the devices of our team members and the OSCE Days server. The first thing we should learn to do is upload a file to the server. Here are some image files of a map that I've made, which you can see on the front page of the OSCE Days website. It's important that shared files have unique and useful names. It's also useful to state the size of an image. There's a similar process on Mac and Windows, but in Linux, for example, I'll right-click and I can see how large the image is. This I've included in the name of the file. When uploading PNGs or JPEGs that were originally created in vector formats like SVG, it's useful to include these original files as well. That way anybody can open them in a program like Inkscape and edit the individual vector shapes. So let's switch over to Firefox and log in to our OSC Days own cloud using the browser. Your standard view when you log in will be of your files and folders, so we can navigate to the folder where we want to upload our images. I'm going to put these in the illustrations folder with the rest of Yeni Otelia's graphics. To upload, simply use the icon at the top of the screen. Find the files that you want to upload, and click Open. These will then start uploading to the OSCE Days server. As each of these files finish uploading, they will appear in the collections of every OSCE Days user that is syncing this Design Files folder. Once these files are uploaded, any PNG or JPEG files are available to view within the browser. To close the image and go back to the folder, rather than using the Back button on your browser, use the Close icon on the right. If you look to the right of each file, you can see that there are various options. We can download the file, we can look at the revision or edit history of the file, and we can also see the owner of this folder and the sharing options. Here we can see that this is owned by me, and if I click on it, I get further options to share it with other people. So for example, I might choose to share it with my local Berlin group, which will add this folder to the collection of every Berlin OSCE Days team member. But I don't want to do that right now. Instead, I'm going to share this via a public link so that anybody can access and download this file. I click Share Link, and then it's a simple matter of copying the link and pasting it wherever I want it. You can now see that the Shared icon has turned into a public link icon. This informs users of OwnCloud that this has been shared publicly and anybody can access it. As well as sharing individual files, you can also share folders. If I, for example, choose to share the entire OSCE Days Design Files folder, that means that this folder and all of the subfolders are available for anybody to access and download files. You can also click the option to allow public editing if you want to allow anybody to delete or upload documents without being signed in. Of course, the browser is not the only way to access these files. Most of the time, I would recommend using the desktop client to add, delete, or move around files within the OSC Days cloud. The desktop client creates a folder on your system which replicates the file structure that you see in the browser. If the client sits in your desktop environment, it keeps an eye out for file changes and syncs with the server. So, for example, directly from my file viewer, I can simply select files on the own cloud server, I can delete them, and those changes will be synced, removing these files from my own cloud and all of my team members. I still have these files in their original place on my computer hard drive, though, so I can show you how to upload these without even using the browser. You simply select the files you want to upload, copy them, and paste them into your own cloud folder on your hard drive. The client will see these new files and upload them to the server for everybody to use. 